7.6, where we're going to be solving exponential and logarithmic equations. And I'm going to kind of divide them up into what I would say are three different sections or types of equations. So the first kind of equation is say I have uh, something raised to a power, and it's equal to, and let's say there's a, a variable in here, it's equal to uh, the same number raised to another power. Um, if I have the same base on both sides, then uh, we'll look at that kind of an equation. Um, the next one is, say I have a log of some base of a number, and that's equal to the log of the same base of another number. There's, you know, in, in these, uh, in the x and the y uh, stuff, there's variables involved. And the other is I'll say um, it's a, the form or the, the, the kind of equation where you're going to be switching forms. And what I mean by forms is, we, and we've talked about this in previous sections, exponential and logarithmic form, right? So uh, one type of equation that I might see would be you know, a to the x equals b. Um, I would take this kind of an equation and I would say log base a of b equals x. Okay. I would take this equation and, and switch it to here to solve uh, for the exponent, if there's a variable there. Uh, I might start out with an equation like this that has log base a of b equals x, and I want to solve for b. And then I would take this and put it in exponential form to solve for b. Okay. So this would be the, what I would call the third form, where you're switching between exponential and logarithmic form, or going the other way. Okay. So let's talk about that first kind, where a to the x is equal to a to the y. And I just want to talk about the concepts really quickly. We won't do many examples, because those are for the sample problem videos. Well, if a is raised to the x, and a is raised to the y, and these two things are equal to each other, then it only makes sense that x would be equal to y. Just for example, if 5 is raised to the second power, and it's equal to 5, and I'm going to raise 5 to some power, I mean, think about what, what power I would have to put here. Would anything else other than 2 make any sense? Could we put a 1, would that make any sense? Or a 5, or a negative 2? None of those things make sense. It would have to be a 2. So if this is an x here, and you're saying, what would I have to put there? Well, you would have to say that x is 2. Um, taking a little bit further, as 3 is to the third, and it's equal to 3 to the uh, x minus 1, then we, we've got 3 and 3. The, the bases of the exponents are the same. So the only thing that makes sense is that these exponents would be the same, just like up here. If this is the third power, this would also have to be the third power. And if this is the third power, then the question is, what's x, right? If this is 3, then what's x? Well, x is 4, right? So that's the, the basic idea there. How about this one's a little bit uh, different looking, a little bit of a different, maybe more difficult to think about, right? This, this just falls right out of the sky. It's way easy, right? It just makes sense. This, it's a little more difficult to think about, but it shouldn't be, um, you know? So what we're saying is... Uh, there's a, let's see, we're saying that I'm going to raise b to some power to get this number. And it's the same as the, hey, how's it going? Oh my goodness, you're here.